ABC Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice conditions outside right now, especially considering the time of the year. It is chilly, no doubt, but it's not as cold as it normally is this time of the year. It's still December out there, but you really wouldn't know it if you walked outside. Feels more like an early fall kind of day, and it looks about that way outside, too. We don't have too much in the way of cloud cover currently showing up here on our Sky Tracker. Either way, very nice calm winds to that Sky Tracker. Very steady currently, and thanks to our Sky Tracker network here in Midland. Good look outside at those conditions. Switching over here to our satellite and radar though, you can see that there are more clouds on the way. Those are going to be coming in from the west throughout the overnight hours and spilling over into West Texas's viewing area as we continue into tomorrow morning. But currently we really don't see much evidence of cloud cover, especially early in the day. We did catch a couple of those clouds rolling in as we headed into the afternoon hours, but for the most part we sat under some very quiet, calm conditions. Now as such, I don't expect much in the way of rain chances to be spread up throughout the next couple of days, but we may pick up some rain chances as another cold front approaches just in time for the weekend. Until then, it's going to warm up here in West Texas. That means tomorrow morning's low temperatures will be down into the 40s, much warmer than the 30s that we saw earlier to begin the day today, and wind speeds will be only hanging around 5 to 10 miles per hour, so nothing too crazy out there. It's going to be another mild day tomorrow. Current temperatures again are a little bit chilly. 54 degrees here in Odessa Midland already backing off into the 40s across the northern basin. And while Odessa Midland will be backing off down into the 40s for tomorrow morning, there will be a couple of cool spots out there that do drop down into the 30s. But thankfully, we are going to be above freezing just about area wide. So good news there. It's not going to be too cold tomorrow morning, especially again, considering the time of the year. Now, as we head to the afternoon hours, 75 degrees will be our high there. 84 according to this model in Fort Stockton. So while we have a couple of cold spots in the morning time, we'll actually pick up a couple of hot spots in the afternoon time, especially in the southern Trans-Pecos. So do your best, stay cool out there, and don't forget, even though it is December, we're going to be seeing temperatures above average, so make sure to drink a lot of water if you're going to be outside for any extended period of time. Now today's high temperatures managed up to 74. It'll be similar tomorrow, so keep in mind that high temperatures are coming in way above average for this time of year, and I really don't expect much in the way of rain chances or for most of those clouds to be sticking around for too long. You can see that cloud mass rolling in from the west, and that'll give us some mostly cloudy skies for a short time tomorrow afternoon before clearing out as we head into Wednesday. But we do have a chance for some fog on Wednesday morning. You can see some very dense cloud cover showing up there right around 4 a.m., so I do expect the chance for fog to be initiated right around Wednesday morning. Should be clearing out by Wednesday afternoon. Another nice day for tomorrow, so I gotta say I'm really looking forward to that. Also, I'm really looking forward to the holidays. Christmas is coming up and we need to choose an icon for our seven day forecast. So hopefully you can help us out. Check out yourbasin.com where you can actually vote on any of those four contenders there for the official Christmas icon here at ABC Big Two News. Now low temperatures tomorrow will be 43 degrees. We'll pick up to 76 tomorrow, then up to 80 on Wednesday before dropping down to 70 Thursday and then picking up those rain chances Friday and Saturday. I want all of those. Can yeah. we just, like, it, would it be too day. crowded? <laughs> if I stack them on top of each other, maybe that might be a good way to go. Christmas even than Christmas. Can we get away with that? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. If there's a tie, yeah, we'll get, I guess we'll have to use might have whichever to. tie. Uh, I saw in that forecast a little rain That's uh, right. potential, so we yeah. need that. I feel like it's been a while here. It oh, man, it, mm -hmm. it feels like it's been months. Maybe even an entire year has passed since <laughs> it's not been that long. But, yeah, we could definitely <laughs> use the rain. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Yeah. If we could get those low temperatures up, we'd be in perfect shape. Yes. We'd be feeling perfect like Florida. Yeah. I'll work on it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chase. Thanks.